dust the Viking here in the couple of videos ago I said we were gonna do every single map I had some other stuff pop up that we wanted to get into of course um, showing off you know beating up the door meta and getting into the more advanced stuff in the game now we're back so we technically full cleared uh, now of course on my stream I've already full cleared everything on the hardest difficulty uh, I lived inside the castle for, I don't know, I pretty much just lived in the castle. It's always in here. It's aggravating. Alright, whoa. Whoa, there we go. We'll drop Mary right here and across. No need to really do the doorway because I have other plans this game. I'm going to grab Mary and a crucifix. Pop over here. Yeah, see, it's already turned that side light on. I think it's still there. I hope it's still there. I heard it go kathunk. But yeah, as far as I've been able to tell, as long as you have a Mary and a Crucifix, um, if one doesn't work, the other will. Of course, depending on how fast the ghost is moving, they can sometimes rush. You know, they can break that sort of barrier. It seems to dissuade their movement, but not prevent it. There's some writing already, I hear. I'm just going to go ahead and head upstairs. Whoop, that was very, very polite. Much appreciated. And I'm going to go get one more set, and I kind of want to make a safe room inside the manor. And then we'll uh, we'll bring up some investigative tools and um, see what we can do. I think the only thing that really hinders, um, you know, being able to just like really completely play this out inside the manor is that we constantly have to come back. Uh, to get more tools, right? Like, like that's the only thing that really slows us down. So we'll we'll try and do two tools at a time. Uh, I already heard it writing, so I don't even know if we need the book. So we'll get like the EMF and uh, scanner. Womp womp womp. Ooh. I'm going to open this up and just get the light on. It's never a bad idea to just turn lights on. Visibility is king. Is this okay, already on? Uh, I kind of want to find a... Do I want to find a dead end room? Ooh, that's the question. Or, cause let me think about it here, cause this thing can like, if I run in there and hide, is it just gonna go around and go the other way? I feel like the answer is yes. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and get some tools here, and then we'll see if we can figure out what this little chunky monkey is. We might get the camera too so we can see it. Always helpful. Always helpful. Alright, so we're gonna grab what do we wanna grab here? What do we wanna grab? Uh I feel like the scanner. And let's get a thermometer in here, right? And uh, we'll just walk through the house. Kind of look for the ghost. Oh, you know what I need to do, actually? Change a plan here. 
You know what? No, not change your plan. Since the ghost is always sitting in this front room so much. Okay. Well, this is new. Signal near. So you don't have to... I could throw it on the ground right now because it's near. You don't have to hold it if it's near. But if you're farther away, then you have to hold it to point. Just to clarify, I saw some people didn't understand quite how that works. Say, uh, some of the comments were like, you have to hold it. I'm like, no, you don't. I promise. And boom. There we go. <laughs> uh, so it'll have two modes. It'll say... Scan or scan near. And if the ghost is just close enough, you get a proximity scan off it. Uh, and you can you can kind of see that on the interface here. So the other thing is we're going to go ahead and get this camera. So, uh, this is a first. This is new. I don't know if this is uh, intended, if this is a new behavior. There was a patch today. But I, I've never had the ghost just... preemptively come out of the house like that. Okay, so it is close. It's back there. It might be hanging out in this room. Let's make sure this isn't the dread room. We're just looking for ghost orbs. Because that'll give away our dread room. And we also need to double check our crucifixes as we go. To make sure that we don't flee to a crucifix, only to find out that there's not one there. You know they're used up when the texture is gone and it is just a gray shape. Like, you can still see all the gold inlay and gems, and Mary's still got her blue uh, cloak and all that stuff. But the second they get used up, all the colors go away, and it's just a gray block, right? Look. Is that open? Why is this like a pull open? Okay, no dread room there. Did I miss one? Nope, didn't miss one. We're at the end of the hall here. This is the safe room. It would have been super awkward if my safe room was uh, was the dread room. Well, this is getting awkward because I haven't found the dread room yet. And uh, we're on our way up here. Not seeing it yet. Is it here? We must have missed it. Getting some static here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the hallway. I took a picture, we'll see. So I'm gonna point out that I feel like the ghost is actually having a hard time keeping up with us because we're so mobile. Maybe that's part of what prompted it to come outside is it was uh, just getting aggravated that it couldn't keep up with us, right? Which is a trip. All right, so I never did get... Uh, let's go ahead and enter the scan. It was... Uh, what was that scan? That scan was the 9P350. 9P350, so we got that. 
Uh, we got a good look at the ghost. It did not look like a child. It did not look like a shadow. It was standing up. So it is a polter or um, a polter or a demon. My first guess is going to be polter because it hasn't really tried to attack me a whole lot yet. It seems like it's roaming up, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything thrown down yet either. So. Uh, we're not 100% sure. Let's go back into photos here. This doesn't say anything about the Dread Room. So we need to do some further investigating. Now, in case this is a demon and we do end up with... Where's the other crucifix at? Don't tell me I'm out. Uh, I didn't get the temperature. Hmm, I need this to find the dread room still, or do I? Do I? I don't know that we do. I don't know that we do. Instead, why don't we, um... Why don't we go a little bit farther and see if we can just identify the ghost really quick? Is that something that we're short on? Maybe? I'm just going to bring this right here. Spirit, can you show yourself? Spirit, show yourself. We'll just do the temp real quick while we're in here. Whoop. So that's one crucifix gone. One gone. Let's pop that bad boy up. So here's here's the deal on this. If this is a demon, we'll be able to hold the crucifix and hold it at bay. If this is a poltergeist, we will need to throw it down. Uh, it won't be uh, affected by the cross as much. But when they're down on the ground, they get burned up real easy, so things and stuff spirit can you show yourself i think it might be upstairs because we were up there so let's go spirit can you show yourself there's more writing i hear it back here still good here It is coming. It couldn't get past the, the crucifix. The Mary is not relevant here, I don't believe. No, it could have been the two together. All right, so it looks like we're going back downstairs. Let's go ahead and pop our crucifix out as we go down because we know we don't have a crucifix downstairs. Right? Let's get ready. Spirit, can you show yourself? I'm actually going to go ahead and throw this on the ground. Spirit, show yourself. Maybe. Hmm. This one is being real Heidi. Uh, go ahead and throw that down. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to face it in. Is what we're gonna look for is maybe an orb. What did I? Where did the crot? There it is. So what I'm I'm attempting to discover here is uh, 
if this thing is traveling around in orb form if it's traveling around in orb form then it's probably a poltergeist but oh really do i have my camera here i'm gonna go ahead and throw that there just in case Yeah, it's here. It's just looking right at us, dude. We can't see her. Crazy. Let's go ahead and... Spirit, go away. Go away. We'll hide the crucifix here. Should be all right. We'll take some. Whoops. That was awkward. I may have really pissed this thing off. Measuring temp. We did get an error, so that's good. All right. Looks like it's backed off. We're hiding behind our wall is stuff. Uh, so that was weird. That was weird. It bypassed all the defenses all the way here. How strange. So we're not going to get a temperature. There's no temperature here. So EMF is our... Why didn't I get the EMF, bro? Feels, feels bad. But why don't we put this on Poltergeist for now? I have yet to see anything thrown down anywhere, though. So I'm really... Oh, oh, oh. Do we have something? Really hesitant to call it a Poltergeist. Uh, instant camera, neutrino gun. Uh, if this is a demon... Then we're looking at uh, the exorcism book. Now, I heard it writing, so it's going to be wall writing or, or uh, a wall drawing. Let's see, wall drawing would be holy water. So we might, we're going to have to find the dread room, most likely. I have a feeling that it is a wall drawing. Because we did see the orbs, and I felt like if there was a dread room, we would have seen the pentagram. The orbs are just kind of showing us that it's right there somewhere, but we're kind of in the wrong area or something like that. Uh, and then we'll try for audio proof. Now, the audio proof could be the dead giveaway that we need here. Man, so it might not even be an EMF. It might not even be an EMF. Let's get my crucifix out here. Because we've got to stay safe, boys and girls. Yes. Let's double check. Make sure it's working. It sure is. I do love that you can check that voice recognition. That's so good. It seems to be pretty solid, too. Um, I don't have the voice recognition bug out in this game. Spirit, do you want to talk to us? Can you hear me? Do you want to talk to us? Can you hear me? Oh, I hear it throwing stuff now. Do you want to talk to us? Can you hear me? Oh, it was my camera. Do you want to talk to us? Can you hear me? Spirit, do you want to talk to us? Can you hear me? Keep this out, bug out. I don't think it wants to talk. It's definitely in that room. It is definitely in that room. So let's figure this out. So we are probably going to get an EMF after all. And no, uh, no temperatures, it would seem. 
So this is a little spicy here. I think when you're dealing with either a poltergeist or a demon, the um, the fear is that you pull the cross out for defense and it turns out, you know, because you think, oh, it's a demon, but then it's a poltergeist and you die. <laughs> oh. Oh! This thing is weird, man. I don't think it's a demon. The, the aggression just is not there, you know? It's just not there. Uh, filming next to a camera, detect, so we uh, we got a, a week, like a barely a three. So we're going to go back to, to Poulter, guys, because this is what I'm feeling real confident here. Uh, neutrino gun, flash, salt. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll start off with the flash here, because I believe the uh, demon didn't have a flash. The demon was something else, so this will... This will kind of give us our definitive, like, answer right here. And there it is, just kind of hanging out. Spirit, show yourself. Spirit, show yourself. Where is it? I don't want to mess around and let it get on top of me because that that's what wrecked me last time any alcohol <laughs> oh oh god i just i thought that was the light flashing well i used up all of that Ugh, so it's under the assumption it would be um, would be invisible. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just flash it. And then, what if it's a demon? All right, so let's get our, our instant camera. And let's also get the book. Nice. Because there's no book here, and if it reacts to the book, then it's a demon. It is a super non-lethal, non-attacky demon that does not care. We'll see. You who haunt this place in the name of Odin, I command you to go back where you came from. Let your soul return to the earth. Let your body return to the dust. Now, it drove it back, but it did not seem to proc the exorcism thing. No multicolored smoke. Show probably still looking at a polter. So interesting thing about the way that plays out, though. That means you could technically have someone just reciting that passage over and over again. What the hell, dude? Spirit, show yourself. Show yourself. What? Show yourself. This is going to be like whack-a-mole. Show yourself. Spirit, show yourself. What? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, well, you know, 
Time to pull out the big guns, I guess. Go over to consumables and let's get some salt and some tiger's eye. Wait, was it ti tiger's eye? Wasn't even a thing. Uh, salt, salt and holy water. So whatever, the tiger's eye. We'll just throw it for fun. We're just gonna get a bunch of salt, man. I'm gonna salt it up. We're gonna assault the ghost. We're gonna do some things. It's something about incense, flash, holy water, neutrino gun. Uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have a chance to really use the crucifix against it, right? Like... You Don ghost? Get this out. You know what? Maybe I'll just... Throw a crucifix down, and just to keep it out of the room. It did not like that! It did not like that at all! <laughs> uh... Alright, let's get back in there with, uh... Oof. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Let's get a new camera. I want to get a new camera. I want to be able to take some pictures, right? Uh, whoops. Pictures and video. We get... Ah, oh, bro, I didn't buy another camera. All right, well, whatever. I'm just going to grab this because I want to go fishing around uh, for that dread room a little bit more. Tools, guard. Uh, we are out of crucifixes. So I'm going to have to grab the one from upstairs. Let me throw that on the ground. Oh, my flashlight was on. And then... I didn't grab... I wish I could grab this one, bro. Actually, uh, if this is a poltergeist, this would be a good time to see if... Um, Mary is... Kind of... Kind of works against... Uh, the polters. I hurt to try. I'm gonna put this in that side room as well. I just I don't want it in that side room. There it is. It doesn't like that cross. All right, well, it might be time to try and get a shotgun out and just blast it, right? I think we're at that stage. It's time to stop messing around. Time to start blasting. See, we still got a crucifix in there. Here we go. Spirit, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. There's the one. It tried to... Did it try and walk, walk around that salt? Did I see that right? Is it actually afraid of the salt? Lamp, pictures, ghost scan, tools, consumables, a little bit of salt. Guard, salt shotgun. Womp. Alright. Let's go. 
So we, uh, the only thing we've really gotten was the neutrino gun. We haven't got the salt yet. We haven't got the flash yet. It just won't show up. Did this. Do I have a crucifix? You burned that crucifix up so fast. Spirit, show yourself. Spirit, show yourself. Come to me. Spirit, come get me. Come to me, spirit. It's invisible and I can't see it. Alright. It's gonna struggle to get past that crucifix. Yeah, alright. Uh, where's that salt? Crunch. Go on, step on it. Step on it. This is uh, oddly non-responsive. It likes to sit like right here, so it's, it's we're just gonna do that. And if it's not a polter, if it is a demon, let's see. Let's go back to the most passive demon ever. Uh, salt still works even against the demon, so that's not the issue. Wait, did Demon have Neutrino? Let's double check that. Demon did not have Neutrino, so... It's a Polter. Hands down, it's a Polter. It won't stay visible long enough. Now it's in here. Show yourself. Show yourself. Did we did we already get it? That did not We'll bait it into the tiger's eye. None of that is working. We've got... What are you, lady? That salt should have worked. Salt would have worked. Is this a, a weird shadow? Salt should have worked. Let me get rid of the uh, wall stuff here real quick. Salt. I don't know. Salt should have worked. Is it bugged out? Like, I realize I don't have all the evidence here, but... Like, there's no audio and there's no temp. We already checked both of those, so... And we, we heard what sounded like wall writing, but let's just... Maybe there's just two. Who knows? Let's let's try and flash it. I guess like again. So it doesn't care about salt or tiger's eye. Um... Child, the salt should have got it. Demon, salt should have got it. Revenant, salt should have got it. Uh, Shadow, salt should have got it. <laughs> Bolter, salt should have got it. 
And then we're back to any. So they're literally with the evidence that we have in EMF three to four and in the scan three fifty like that, like that's salt. That's salt against all uh, apparitions. It's definitely materializing more and more and more and more. Again, uh, this is definitely kind of poultry behavior. Let's try and flash it, dude. I got one shot left. I can at least make it go away. What do I have here? Are you a poltergeist? Maybe I can just ask it. But yeah, none of the... Uh... Finally. Jeez. All right. Progress. Progress. <laughs> All right, we're back to Poulter, guys. All right, salt, flash, neutrino gun, all done. We heard it writing. I think we were, like, wall drawing is what we're... So it's holy water on the entity. And if the holy water on the entity does not work, then we have to go back upstairs and find the uh, dread room. Which, it looked like it was the hallway. I didn't see a pentagram anywhere. Um... So that preemptive work is beneficial because it is essentially telling us that uh, there is no pentagram, right? I got one shot left in this, so we're good. Spirit, show yourself. Spirit, where are you? What if that exercised it? Nah, it was a puff of smoke. It didn't do the thing. Spirit, come get me. It's over here. Spirit, come get me. Show yourself. It's very angry. It's very angry. Woo! Very angry. But super passive, right? Maybe we've just subdued it enough that it's scared of us. I don't know. Let's look in these windows, though, because it likes to sit in the windows and stare at us. Right? We're not. Spirit, where are you? I just need it to, like, come at me and attack where I can see it. Here it comes. It should come this way. I can't hit it with holy water if it's on the ceiling. Cause you've got to like smash it against the floor at its feet. And if it's on the ceiling, it's just not going to happen. And it's a fucking ghost, so the jar flies through it. It doesn't break on it. So this is just like the really hard part. If I'm in the house and it just won't get off the ceiling. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That'll do. We finally got it. Or it wasn't, uh... <laughs> but not on the freaking ceiling, dude. God. I think it was just... I don't know if it was all the crucifixes subduing it. And, and uh... It was really struggling at the start to follow us around the house. Like, it wanted to be aggressive... It even met us in the front yard, but I was just, I don't know, I was, wasn't going to let it. Wasn't going to let it. Wasn't going to let it. Uh, we can't really take any more pictures. We know the dread room was basically, well, you know what? I'm curious. It's, where was the dread room? 
it looks like the hallway, but maybe it was behind the piano and we didn't see. This is the only two places I can think of. But I'm whoop, pretty sure it was the hall. And we should still see the orbs. I'm not seeing them now. Maybe they're behind. Are they back this way? Were they closer than I, I maybe thought? Oh, maybe what I saw was not Dreadroom orbs. Maybe what I saw was the Poltergeist because they move around in orb form. That's what it was. We got jabated by a Polter, dude. So the Dreadroom, man, where is it? Ugh, oh, what a mystery, dude. What a mystery. I'm gonna find it. I'm just, I'm curious now, like... Also, I wouldn't mind to, like, accidentally find that wall writing. See, uh... Oh, 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 hold on. It is here. It's here. It's this room. Hold on here. We might need to... Chuck the, uh, flashlight. Well, we'll keep going. There was an orb right there in front of me. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, Orby? What? They were literally right here. Again, yeah, maybe it's actually above. Oh, I didn't want it to pull out the flashlight, dude. Come on. All right, well, let's go... Double check here. It might not be much of a dread room. So it was like, if it was up here and clipping to the ceiling, it'd be on this side. And as far as wall writing and drawings and stuff like that, I just have to get rid of this flashlight, man. We're just gonna throw it on the floor. Flashlights. Now it's too dark to see, even with the night vision. Uh, would not mind if they added a little bit more vision to the night vision. <laughs> okay, so I feel pretty confident that the the room is not up here. Whoops. And what about if it's just the actual hallway? Let's turn this lamp off. How do I turn the lamp off? Is there... Nope. Am I not close enough? Is this just ghost power only? Is that how you do this? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Is this the room? And they were clipping through. Oh god, it is this room. I <laughs> I made my safety room the dread room, dude. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. So yeah, there's no there's no pentagram in here though, so that uh, that part of this sweep was a success, right? Like, we swept the whole building, and if there was a pentagram, the orbs are a little elusive, but we would have seen the pentagram. Like, they stick out like a sore thumb. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here using nothing but this camera to see. I don't have any pictures left, or I would have taken a picture of the dread room there. 
So there we go. That was the manor. We pretty much lived inside there, except for when the ghost almost forced us to come out. Boy, it was a hard one to exercise, though. I, I guess the salt, maybe when you hit him with the shotgun, it doesn't do the multicolor. That's um, because I didn't deploy any salt. And all the salt out on the map, none of it's used up. Uh, so it looks like that when you hit it with the salt from the shotgun, that it doesn't do the extra, the, uh, it doesn't do the multicolor cloud, it just does the white cloud, which, uh, I feel pretty confident in saying that that seems like a glitch, right? The shotgun's too expensive for it to have that kind of a drawback. There's that poltergeist. Bada boom. All the things, all the things, all the things. There we go. All right, so that was pushing into the mansion versus an extremely shy and scared Bolter. I guess he's heard of Odin before. He was scared. We'll do the castle next. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.